So, what does a 19-year-old do after dropping off from Stanford? Well, if you're Sam Altman, the creator of ChatGPT, you gamble everything on a Silicon Valley startup. This is part two of a five-part series on the man behind ChatGPT. Check out our channel for part one and subscribe to watch the rest of the series. After leaving Stanford, Sam started working on an idea that felt almost futuristic for 2005, a social media app that let friends see each other's locations in real time. He called it Looped. The inspiration came from late night conversations about how disconnected people were, even in the same city. At a time when Facebook was still limited to college campuses and MySpace ruled the internet, Looped was trying to bridge the gap between online socializing and real world connection. It wasn't about status updates, it was about knowing where your people were and what they were doing right now. Sam and Nick Sivo, his boyfriend and co-founder of Looped, moved into a modest Mission District apartment in San Francisco. Nights blurred into mornings, coding, pitching investors and building Looped. Money was tight, energy was endless and ambition ruled every hour. The work was so relentless in fact that Sam actually recalls getting scurvy. For those of you who don't know, scurvy is a disease that you develop from not getting enough vitamin C and can be fatal if left untreated. It peaked during the age of sail between the 1500s to the 1800s. That's when sailors spent months at sea with no fresh fruits or vegetables, living on dried meat and hard tack. Hardly a disease you still hear of, especially in places like the States. Anyway, they eventually joined Y Combinator, pitched top investors like Sequoia, and negotiated deals with mobile carriers for loot. For those of you who don't know, Y Combinator is the startup accelerator that seeds early stage companies with funding, mentorship, and a tight three-month program that launched giants like Airbnb, Dropbox, Stripe, and made Sam Altman a major figure in Silicon Valley. All that hard work and effort eventually paid off, and Looped was acquired in 2012 for $43.4 million. Sam had gained the first exit, but lost Nick in the process. The intensity of creating their first startup drove a wedge between them, and they decided it was best to go their separate ways. The person who shared the journey, the apartment, and the dream was no longer by Sam's side. After achieving his first exit, Sam Alpen would return to Y Combinator, not as a startup looking for funding, but in a much more influential position. That story is next. Subscribe for part three.